Paul, first of all, how come you're the only one in the holiday spirit? Uh, I don't know. I guess I got kids, which a lot of the guys have kids, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to get in the hol holiday spirits. I love it. Um, Ty said this, the first half of this game was pretty nasty offensively, but defense kept you in it. Um, where did that game turn, and how were you able to, you know, Kawhi struggled shooting as well. How, how were you guys able to turn that tide and, and win this game? Um, I thought, honestly, we just stayed with it. Uh, we were getting great looks. Shots just weren't falling first half. Um, we continued to uh, be aggressive. I thought we didn't panic. Um, our defense was holding us up, so it really wasn't a need to panic. Um, at some point, we got great shot makers and playmakers. Um, just rely on, uh, you know, at some point, uh, we'll find the rhythm. Uh, PG, this is the third straight home game to start the season. You guys have had a 20-point lead going to the fourth. Is there, like, an added emphasis? I know you guys said you want to take the regular season seriously, but is there just an added emphasis of home games we have to take it even more seriously than, than kind of what's happened in the past? Uh, <clears throat> you know, I think just – Credit to, uh, you know, our fan base. Credit to our fan base. Um, you know, we hear Clipper Nation, and, um, you know, it's on us to uh, come out and play hard and, and control what we control uh, when we step in between those lines. So, um, you know, we just play with great energy. Uh, a lot of that comes from Russ and uh, just trickles all the way down. And P, in that third quarter, there was a time where you knocked down a big three, lifted Ty Lue, like, I got this. Was that something that you put the team on your shoulders, knowing that you guys were struggling and your all-star teammate and Kawhi struggling, like, I got this tonight, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a rhythm. I had a, a good flow at that point in the second half. Um, that was more so him wanting to call up a screen, get an action going. Um, but I don't like, you know, low clock. I don't like – Screens coming up, doubles happen, you know, um, at that point. Um, let me play him one-on-one -on -one up top and, um, you know, me versus him. Yo, P, wanted to ask you about, you know, your counters. When do you feel like your counters got the way it did and you have this reverse snatch? You lose defenders on that every time when you get downhill. Just talk about the reverse snatch too as well. Yeah, um, I broke it down on that clip with uh, Jabari. Um, more so just, you know, uh, when you get a defender going and they're leaning and, um, you know, it's a race to a spot. They beat me to that spot. I kind of can get a feel based off of their momentum um, and uh, just being able to stop on a dime, I guess, um, which creates space for me. Um, I know a lot of people – Say I push off, uh, it's really not a push off. It's just, you know, good breaks. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think just the ability to, to win the race to a spot and then stop on it on a dime uh, creates that, that space for me. Well, you feel like people say it's a push off because you keep your, your shoulder in tucked in. You don't ever, like, really extend it. It just looks like <laughs> it because you get contact with it too as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I teach it to a lot of guys, a lot of young guys. Um, you know, it's it's more so the shoulder, um, you know, dropping the shoulder. That's what creates the separation. It's not even the elbow. It's just me dropping my shoulder down, um, which creates the space. Um, and then I just take the space that I created and step back from it. Paul, uh, I remember this time last year, um, season over, you guys played the Lakers. Russ missed every shot, played hard, but missed every shot. And you still were, you noticed his joy wasn't there. Um, obviously, that February, you advocated for him to be here. He's still here. What was it about his time with, with, with the Lakers that you saw that the player was still there, even if the performance, the numbers weren't quite matching up, the narrative wasn't quite matching up? Uh, I mean, he just did it. He just did it in Washington. Um, no one was saying none of this when he was in Washington. Um, and he goes to the Lakers and – completely you know he's done he's this he's washed he's you know just all these narratives started to float around um when he literally just was the same player um that he is with us with Washington 
he had a great stretch and stint in Houston right after Oklahoma. Um, and so um, I just knew he still had it. Like, that was still in him. Um, but being on his side and his teammate in Oklahoma, I just um, – the way he plays the game is just, you know, at, at, it's in his comfort zone. Um, and I saw he just wasn't comfortable uh, when he was in with the Lakers. Um, you could just see it on him, you know, that – uh, there's so many battles he was fighting. Um, and so, you know, I, I I was the first to defend him. You know, I knew that wasn't uh, the finished product of of what Russ is. Um, I knew he had a lot more basketball in him. And uh, I knew he could help us. Uh, that's the reason I was the first to stick my neck out and, and vouch for him, because I knew he could help us.